Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video we are going to understand how to create webinar kit registrant on Instamojo sale and send email. So I am running a developer academy and I keep creating new online webinars using webinar kit. And here to receive the payments for my webinar registration, I use Instamojo. So here in this case I want whenever I receive a new sale through my Instamojo, then automatically using that detail, a new registrant should be created in my webinar kit under a specific webinar. And after that, automatically a confirmation mail should be sent to my customer using Gmail. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create webinar kit registrant on Instamojo seal and send email. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I conduct online webinars and I use Instamojo to sell my courses and services. So here on my screen you can see my Instamojo payment page which I've created to sell my webinar seats. So here in this case I want whenever someone makes a purchase, I want to make sure they are also registered for my upcoming webinar without any extra step. By automating this process, every time someone makes a purchase, automatically they are added as a registrant in my webinar kit. And now here after creating the registrant, I want them to receive an email with all the details right away. So here to build this connection, I need to connect my Instamojo account with my webinar kit and my Gmail account. And this automation will save me time, keep things organized and ensures that my customer don't miss out on my webinar. So here to build this connection, I'm going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus, it keeps everything organized and error-free so you can focus on growing your business hustle-free. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect and you can visit it by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get free 100 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I am going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, I am going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I am going to give the name as create webinar kit registrant on Instamojo sale and send email. And now here after giving the name to my workflow, here I am going to select my folder as automations. So here I have selected my folder as automations but you can select your folder as per your need. Also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow and now here on my screen, you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up our trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Instamojo. So Instamojo is a platform that makes it easy for businesses and individuals to sell products and services online. It allows you to create payment links, set up an online store and accept payments securely. People use Instamojo because it simplifies selling and collecting payments without needing technical skills or a big setup. Whether you are selling physical products, digital goods or services, Instamojo helps you to get paid quickly and easily. So here in my Instamojo trigger step, I am going to select my trigger event as new sale. 
so that whenever a new sale is made for my Insta Mojo product, then automatically public connect should capture the response. Or you can say that whenever a new sale is going to be made using our Insta Mojo product, then automatically this entire workflow is going to be triggered. And here you can see after selecting my trigger event, I have received a webhook URL over here. That means here I'm going to use this webhook URL to connect my Insta Mojo with Pabli Connect. So here following the instructions given below, firstly here I'm going to copy this webhook URL. And here I've already logged in, in my Insta Mojo account. And here in my Insta Mojo account, you can see under all products, all the products which I'm selling using Insta Mojo. So here I want to set up this automation from a specific product which is named as PHP for programming. So here I'm going to select my product. And now here after selecting my product, I'm going to click on this advanced option given over here. And from here I'm going to scroll it little down. And here you can see we have received the option for webhook URL. So here I'm going to remove this previously existing webhook URL. And now I'm going to paste the new webhook URL that I have received in my Pabli's workflow. So this is my webhook URL and now I'm going to click on the save given over here. And here you can see it says updated successfully. That means we have successfully set up the webhook URL inside our Insta Mojo account. So now let's move back to our Pabli's workflow. And here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response, we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, we need to make a test sale for our product. So for that, let me take you to my product checkout page. So this is my product checkout page and here I'm going to click on this buy now given over here and then I'm going to click on this buy now and then here it is asking me to enter the customer information. So here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name I'm going to enter the name as dummy, last name as user, email as dummy at the rate publitudes.com and then here I'm going to enter some random phone number. And now here after entering this customer information, I'm going to click on this review and pay. And from here I'm going to click on this make payment. And here you can see it is asking me to select the payment method. So here for the payment method, I'm going to select credit or debit cards. And now here I'm going to enter my card number. So this is my card number and here I'm going to enter the CVV. And now here after entering all the required data, I'm going to click on this pay button given over here. And then here it is asking me to enter the OTP. So here I'm going to enter my OTP and then I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see it says thank you for your purchase. So with this we have successfully made a new sale over here. Now let's go back to our Pavli's workflow. And here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received some details such as payment request ID, payment ID scrolling little down. Here you can see the buyer's phone numbers, buyer's name and buyer's email address. And also you can see we have received the amount over here. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger over here. Now let's move to action step and here I'm going to select my action application as webinar kit. So Webinar Kit is a tool that helps you create and host webinars which are online seminars or meetings. It makes it easy to set up and manage live or automated webinars including features like registration pages, live chat and follow-up emails. People use Webinar Kit because it simplifies the process of reaching and engaging with an audience online. Whether for training, marketing or presentations, it's ideal for businesses and educators who want to connect with the people and share information in an interactive way. So here in my webinar kit action step, I'm going to select my action event as new webinar registration. So that whenever I'm going to receive a new sale through my Insta Mojo, then automatically using that detail, a new registrant should be created in my webinar kit account under a specific webinar. And now here to connect my webinar kit with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your webinar kit account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, it is asking me for an API token. So I have following the instructions given below. Here I've already logged in my webinar kit account. And from here, I'm going to click on my profile. And from here, I'm going to select settings. Now here under settings, I'm going to scroll it little down. And here you can see under this API access, I have received my private API key. So here I'm going to copy it, moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here I'm going to paste my API key. And now here after pasting my API key, I'm going to click on the save given over here. 
and here you can see we are now successfully connected so moving forward and then here it is asking me to select the webinar id so basically in this webinar id field i need to select my webinar name so for that let me take you back to my webinar kit account and here in my webinar kit account you can see all the webinars which i have created for my use so here i'm going to select the webinar which is named as webinar on php so here i want to create the new registrants for a webinar which is named as webinar on php so moving back to my pabli's workflow and here i'm going to select my webinar id as webinar on php and now here after selecting my webinar id here it is asking me to enter the email address first name last name and some other details so here instead of entering these details manually here i'm going to map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i'm going to map the data from the response i've received in my trigger step mapping makes a text dynamic so that whenever we are going to receive a new sale in our insta mojo then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one so here i'm going to map my customer's email address so this is my customer's email address moving forward and then here it is asking me for the first name and the last name separately but here you can see in our trigger response we have received a buyer's name together so now what we have to do is that we have to split this first name and last name over here so here to split this text we need to add another action step in this workflow where we need to use a feature by pabli that is text formatted by pabli to split this particular text so for that we are going to add a action step over here and here in this action step we are going to search for a feature by pabli that is text formatter by pabli so here i'm going to select it and then here in this action event you can see all the action events for which you can use text formatter by pabli such as basic formatting extract pattern find in text replace text split text scrolling little down text parser truncate url and code and decode and some other events also but here i want to split my buyer's name so for that i'm going to use the split text over here and now here after selecting my action event i'm going to click on this connect given over here and here you can see after building this connection here it is asking me to enter the text to split that means here i need to enter the text which i want to split so here i'm going to enter my buyer's name so for that i'm going to map my buyer's name so this is my buyer's name moving forward and then here it is asking me to enter the separator so here in the help text it says enter the characters special characters are allowed or what separator to split the text for space as separator use space so here i need to separate my buyer's name and here for the separator i need to use the separator as space so here i'm going to enter the separator as space moving forward and then here it is asking me for a segment index that means here i need to select the segment index to split my text so for that i'm going to select all and then i'm going to click on this save and send test request given over here and here you can see after clicking on the save and send test request here we have received the successful response where we have received the first name and the last name separately that means here in this action step we have successfully splitted our buyer's name So now let's move back to our webinar kit action step and now here I'm going to map the first name from the response I have received in my text formatter. So this is my first name and here I'm going to map the last name. So this is the last name and then here it is asking me for a country code. So here this country code is not a required field so here I'm going to leave it blank and here I'm going to map my buyer's phone number. So this is my buyer's phone number scrolling little down. Here, these custom fields are not a required field, so here I'm going to leave them blank. But if you want to add any other detail, then you can do it as per your need. And then here it is asking me to enter the webinar presentation date. And here in the help text it says, enter the date in this format. Make sure it is in the ISO 8601 format. You can learn more about that here. So here you can see to enter this webinar presentation date, we need to follow exact format which is given over here. So what here I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this format over here and then I'm going to paste it over here. And now here after pasting this format, let me take you to my webinar kit account so to get the exact date for my webinar presentation. So for that let me take you to my webinar kit account and here in my webinar kit account you can see my webinar which I have created with the name webinar on PHP. So now I'm going to click on this arrow given over here and from here I'm going to select edit webinar. And now here under this edit webinar I'm going to scroll it little down and here you can see we have received the option for scheduled webinar dates so here I'm going to schedule my webinar by clicking on this add button given over here and then here for the type I'm going to select specific and then here I'm going to select a specific date as 15th September 
and then here for the time i'm going to select time as 12 pm and then here it is asking me to select the time zone so here i'm going to search for my time zone that is asia kolkata so here i'm going to select my time zone and now here after entering all the required data i'm going to click on this add webinar date given over here and here you can see i have successfully added a webinar date over here and now here after adding my webinar date i'm going to click on the save given over here and by clicking on this you can see we have successfully scheduled our webinar over here so now let's move back to our pavli's workflow and now i'm going to edit this format as per the date i've entered in my webinar presentation so here for the year i'm going to enter the year as 2024 for the month i'm going to enter 09 and here for the date i'm going to enter 15th and then here for the time i'm going to enter the time as 12 and now here after entering this webinar presentation date i'm going to click on the save and send as request given over here and here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully created a new registrant under our webinar so now let's go and check it and i'm going to move it back and now here in my webinar i'm going to click on this arrow and then i'm going to click on this view analytics scrolling little down and here you can see we have successfully created a new webinar with the email as dummy@pablitudes.com first name as dummy last name as user and a random phone number over here So with this we have successfully set up this action step. Now let's move to another action step by clicking on this add action step button given over here. And now here in this action step I'm going to select my action application as Gmail. So Gmail is Google's email service that lets you send and receive emails online. People love it because it's easy to use, has lots of storage space and keeps spam out of your inbox. It works well on any device and helps you stay organized with features like labels and filters. Whether you're emailing friends, managing work projects, or just staying connected, Gmail makes it simple and reliable. So here in my Gmail action step, I'm going to select my action event test send email v2, so that whenever I'm going to receive a new sale in my Insta Mojo, then automatically using that detail, a new registrant is going to be created in my webinar kit, and after that, automatically a confirmation mail should be sent to my customer. So now here to connect my Gmail with Public Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection I'm going to select add new connection if your Gmail account is already connected with Public Connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection I'm going to click on this connect with Gmail here I'm going to select my desired account and then I'm going to click on this allow and give access to Public as your data is secured with Public authorization successful So here you can see we are now successfully connected so moving forward and then here it is asking me to enter the recipient email addresses that means here i need to enter the address to whom i want to send this mail so here for my recipient email address i'm going to map my buyer's email this is my buyer's email moving forward Here the CC and BCC field are not required field so here I'm going to leave them blank and here for the sender email address you can see it has already selected my own email address so that I can send this mail from this particular mail ID so now moving forward and then here it is asking me to enter the sender name so here for the sender name I'm going to enter my academy name that is ABC developer academy And now here after entering my sender's name here it is asking me to enter the email subject. So here I need to enter the email subject which I want to send. So here I'm going to enter my email subject as you are registered for our upcoming webinar. So this is my email subject. So now moving forward and then here it is asking me for a reply to field. So again this field is not a required field so here I'm going to leave it blank and then here for the email content type I'm going to select my content type as plain moving forward and then here it is asking me to enter the email content that means here i need to enter the email body which i want to send as a mail to my customer so here i'm going to enter my email body as hi customer's name thank you for your recent purchase we are excited to let you know that you have been automatically registered for our upcoming webinar that is php programming Here are the details date 15th September 2024 time is 12 pm and then it says please make sure to mark your calendar we will be covering some valuable insights that will help you get the most out of your recent purchase if you have any questions or need assistance feel free to reply to this email we are here to help looking forward to seeing you there best regards abc developer academy so this is my email body and here in the place of this customer's name i'm going to map my customer's name so that it can keep changing so i'm going to map my customer's name 
Oops, this is my customer's name. And with this, I have successfully completed my email content. So now moving forward, and then here it is asking me for a file name, attachment, label IDs, and signature. So again, these fields are not a required field, so here I'm going to leave them blank. And now here, after entering all the required data, I'm going to click on the Save and Send as request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response. That means we have successfully sent a mail to our customer's email ID. So now let's go and check our customer's email ID. And here you can see the mail which our customer has received with the email subject as you are registered for our upcoming webinar. And here you can see the sender name as ABC Developer Academy. And here you can see the email body which says, Hi dummy user, thank you for your recent purchase. We are excited to let you know that you have been automatically registered for our upcoming webinar PHP programming. Here are the details. Date 15 September 2024, time 12 p.m. Please make sure to mark your calendar. We will be covering some valuable insights that will help you get the most out of your recent purchase. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reply to this email. We are here to help. Looking forward to seeing you there. Best regards, ABC Developer Academy. So this is the email which our customer has received. And with this, we have successfully set up this entire automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Insta Mojo and our action as text for matter, webinar, kit and Gmail. So that whenever we are going to make a new sale on our Insta Mojo, then automatically using that customer's detail, the buyer's name is going to be splitted by using text for matter by Pabli. And after that, automatically a new registrant is going to be created in our webinar kit account under a specific webinar. And after that, automatically a confirmation mail with, with the webinar details will be sent to our customer. Now, if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clue link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.